how event stores work and why is it this example of the banking bank account so important? Because typically um, event stores are explained like that. So it's an up and only lock. And that's correct because most of the event stores that I know, uh, including event store DB, is built on top of up and only lock. However, it's not like we are always getting all of the events from the whole history because this app and lock contain events from multiple uh, streams, so from multiple um, records or and even multiple types of records. So all the events are ending in this app and only lock. And so this is how our huge global lock could look like. So all the events that were registered in our system. However, as I mentioned, all of those events are appended to the specific stream. So if we move those events and show how they are looking like, so then we are getting slices. And those slices are those specific streams. So for instance, account 100, 45 has two events, cash was withdrawn from ATM and cash payment recorded. Account 255 has cash payment recorded. So our streams are kind of like a indexes that are linking to the up and only log to build the specific records. So that might look a bit complicated, but actually it's not because our uh, regular databases, so relational databases, are also built like that. They also have this up and only log that is called transaction log or write ahead log, and they also have tables and rows in those tables. And those uh, uh, tables are built from this transaction log. So to show it differently, if we align those events without blurring that picture with the app and only log, then we see that actually event stores logically are key value stores, where key is the identifier of our record. So the same identifier that we would have for relational or document databases. And our value is a sequence of events. So if we realize that, then things and understanding how even stores work and how even sourcing works and what are the limitations and modeling techniques should be much, much easier. Because is it an issue if we are getting more a lot of events? Yes, it is, because we will be reading a lot of events, then they might be mm, in total keeping a lot of data, but if our sequence of event is short and our events are granular, then it shouldn't be a big deal. Not bigger deal than, for example, joining records in relational tables or getting a document from MongoDB with a list of data. Same story. So uh, physically, even stores are up and only lock, but logically, it's a key value stores. So we should think about event streams as a, you know, the value. So the history of our record.